Shalom to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I have an amazing word again for you. Remember, whenever you see my face or hear the sound of my voice, you have to know that I have come with good news. These words that I speak are words of encouragement. These are words to bless you. These are words to jumpstart your day. Before I even start the word, I would like to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. If you need me to pray for you, send me a message through my WhatsApp number or through my email address, and I will pray for you. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal. My PayPal is in the About section. Now, my brothers and sisters, today's amazing word is your enemies have increased. They are ever increasing. They are even gossiping about you, of how you failed, of how they attacked you and trapped you. The good news is you are going to overcome. The good news is you are going to defeat all your enemies. Some of you, as you walk, people are gossiping about you. People are saying negative about you. People are rejoicing over your failures. People are rejoicing over your infirmities. But my brothers and sisters, don't be discouraged. Never be discouraged when someone rejoices over your infirmities. When someone keeps on mocking you. I'll give you an example. There was a woman by the name of Hannah. Hannah was barren. Hannah was going through a lot of things that some of you are going through. She was seeking for a breakthrough. And yet Penina, her children, Penina, her enemy, was mocking her. Hannah did not go and mock Penina. No. Hannah went to the temple of the Lord and started praying. And one day she got a breakthrough. Hannah's breakthrough was Israel's breakthrough. God gave her a son, and the son was a prophet. A prophet to the nation of Israel. A prophet that none of his words fell to the ground. Hannah's prayer was answered. Your prayer too can be answered. If you stick on God, if you cling on to Jesus, your prayer can be answered. If you walk in the right uh, standing with God, if you are righteous, if you walk in the will of God, your prayer can be answered. I want to read to you a scripture that is from the book of Psalms chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Psalm chapter 3, verse 1 to Six. Now, the Bible says, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who raise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice. And he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people. Who have set themselves against me all around. What a powerful word. You see, the psalmist writes this word to let us know of what was happening in his life. He starts by saying, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Some of you, the enemies that trouble you, the people that trouble you have increased. So he wanted to let us know of what was happening in his life. Then he goes ahead to write, many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. Some of you, there are a lot of people that have had a narrative about your life. They have been gossiping. 
they have been talking. They have held up meetings about you. And they have been saying that there was no help for you. They have seen your struggles. Some of them are even at your workplace. That is why some of you are never promoted. Because they are haters at your work. But I declare and declare, whoever is fighting against you, God will fight for you. God will give you victory over your enemies. Some of your enemies are going to start fleeing. Your enemies are going to be confused. Your enemies are going to be set into confusion. Those that have been seeking you, those that have desired to destroy you, will be put into confusion. Just watch and see what the Lord will do. Watch and see how the Lord is going to lift you up. The Bible says it clear. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts my head up. The psalmist knew that the only one that can bring him out of that affliction, it is God. The only one, my brothers and sisters, that can deliver you from that attack is God. Some of you have been attacked at night. Some of you get attacks where you cannot breathe well. You have breathing problems. Some of you have heart problems. Some of you have conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure. But I want to encourage you that God will make you well. God will heal you. If you put your trust in God, God will never forsake you. Because he is your God. He is there with you to guide you. So my brothers and sisters, I brought this word just to encourage you. Just to let you know that it doesn't matter what your enemies are saying. It doesn't matter what they are gossiping. It doesn't matter how many meetings they, held, they, hold, they hold up <clears throat> to bring you down. If you remain in God, if you trust God, he will never disappoint you. Because God will fight for you. All your battles, not some battles, all your battles, God will defeat all, all your enemies. Brothers and sisters, I have come to the end of this word. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this message has encouraged you. I encourage you that uh, to keep subscribing. For those that have not yet subscribed, just check. You may think you have subscribed. Just check and subscribe. Turn on all the notifications and God will <clears throat> make a way in your life. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, my PayPal account is right in the about section. You can make use of it. Until next time, Shalom.